All these darn bumper cars. These guys aren't going to stick together. They're going to bounce off each other. Hence the term bumper cars. These are a little tricky. But basically, if you just if you have patience and you just draw the picture, the maths isn't very hard. Okay, bumper car. Okay. Okay. So so these are both going east. This guy's going faster. So this guy hit this guy in the back. Okay. So let's draw a picture. There's the little thing, right? This is 340 kilograms, right? This guy's going to the east at 3.5. So east will make it to this, this direction, right? And so they're going uh, 4.50 meters per second to the east. And bumper car, this is A. Bumper car B, being driven by Tom Duggan. is going only 2.4 meters per second. So there's Murray, there's Duggan. Just kidding. Wow. Duggan's really heavy. It's because he's got a bigger bumper car. It's not him. Okay. So let's see. So so this is this guy's going to the east, right? Okay. And then after the collision, let's see, car A is going to the west. Okay, that's me. Wow, that's quite the collision. Okay. So I bump off the back of them, and I end up going to the left. I end up going west. So let's draw a picture of it. I'm now going to the west at 1.4. So I'm going to make that negative 1.40, because that's to the west. This is bumper car A, 340 kilograms, right? And then the reason that I'm making a negative is that east is positive, and this guy's going to the west. And then I think it's, a, you know, how fast is Duggan's bumper car going? How fast is this guy going? Okay, so, so take a look at this guy. This guy collides with this guy. Since he's going faster and since they're both going to the right, the only way to collide with him is to uh, hit him from behind, right? Okay, um, and then after the collision, notice that this guy's going backwards. That will be key. Okay, and then the question is, how fast is this guy going as a result of that? Okay, so we can do this. The picture is, drawing the picture is all the work, really. The rest of this is just pretty simple math. So 340 times 4.5 plus 610 times 2.4 equals 340 times negative 1.4 plus 610, dear Lord, look at that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, let's start on this side. So I'm gonna go 340 times 4.5 plus 610 times 2.4. This whole side here is 2994. That equals 340, and then let's multiply this out, so 340 times negative 1.4 equals negative 476 plus 610 V. Okay? So I multiplied, did this whole side here, I did that and that, right? I get 2994 is, and then to get rid of this, I'm gonna add it to both sides. So I'm gonna go 2994 plus 476, and I get 3470, is equal to 610 V, and now I just have to divide by 610. And I get that V authoritatively is 5.6885, which would be 5.6. Okay, now the fact that it's positive means that it's to the east. And you must label it to the east. The person grading your paper is not going to know what uh, convention you set up for east and west. You must label it east and west. And the fact that this came out positive and the fact that we made east positive and west negative means that if the answer comes out positive, it's definitely to the east. Okay?